Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 154. In this video tutorial, the tip that I wanted to provide you is how to pass the bash or the uh, shell or environment variables to DB2 SQL script. So if you have an SQL file which contains the queries and other things, so if you want to pass the shell variables to the SQL script, how can you do that? That is what we are going to see in this tutorial. The uh, scripts that I'm using, the data files that I'm using are available for free download at db2luwacademy.blogspot.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, youtube.com slash db2luwacademy. And this is the problem scenario. So we want to pass the shell or environment variables. Suppose if you're writing a shell script like that, so the variables which are in the shell, shell environment, so you want to pass it to the db2sql script. So obviously there are many ways of doing it. I'm sharing a couple of ways that I know uh, with my limited knowledge. So the, the general idea is like using a text manipulation program to replace the variables so that the string uh, within that shell environment becomes like substituted with the appropriate uh, runtime variable values and uh, that will be passed. So um, we have to use a text manipulation program to replace the variable before handing it the, the control over to the db2 command line program. That's the general idea of how this works. And the solution is you can use a, a cd command, which is the said, I think it is stream editor in Linux. And awk, I'm, I'm saying maybe because I don't know, like I have not, yeah. awk is also can be used as a text manipulation program, but it is much more than uh, a text manipulation program, but it should have the features. Uh, I'm not about like 100%, but that's why I'm saying maybe. So you can use the SED script or awk scripts to replace shell variables. So if you if you know an, an awk way of doing it, so just let me know. And this is the first method, like using a stream editor, uh, particularly a CD command. And the second uh, way of doing that is uh, called as here document. And this here document concept, I find this in the bash, skill, bash script. So I'm not sure whether it will be supported in a con shell or like a the po 6 standard shell. So that you have to take care of that, but definitely it works in the bash environment. Uh, so without further uh, delay, let's uh, look at an example. So this is uh, how the example looks like. Like, uh, let me show you, I've connected to the database and I, I'm saying like, so I obviously I've started the instance and select star from T1, there is a, there's a table which has ID column integer one two three four five so it's it's very clear so very simple and uh, what i'm uh, having is like a um, sql file so this is an sql file so i'm just going to say con select star from t1 where id between dollar top and dollar bottom so it can be any string so this is the string that i want to uh, replace so for example um, I'll say ID between five or six, ID between one and 10, ID between thousand and 2000, whatever. So this is like a top range and this is like a bottom range. So this is a select query. So this is just like an SQL file, but you can't execute this SQL file directly because obviously dollar top doesn't understand, right? Like this has to be replaced by the shell environment variable. So that uh, shell script is uh, called as shell to sql dot sh. So I have created that file and you can see the first line, it tells that it is like a bash script. Okay, let me, let me just zoom a bit here. Uh, okay, so I'll also do that here. So you can see that the dollar top and dollar bottom are the, the environment variables that I have coded in as part of the SQL. And uh, here you can see it's a bash script. I'm just saying echo high, I don't know. Uh, top, so this is the variable I'm setting it to two. Bottom, I'm setting it to four. I'm connecting it to sample. And it's just to echo the values. So I have commented it out. So std hyphen e substitute dollar top to dollar top. So this will be the literal uh, matching. Like take this uh, file and search for dollar top and dollar bottom and replace it with the environment variable dollar top and dollar bottom. So which file? Shell to SQL dot SQL file. So, oops, uh, I've changed something. So shell to SQL dot SQL file. So take this uh, shell to SQL dot SQL file, replace the string inside that file. Any line which is containing the dollar top will be replaced um, with, as of now it contains only single line and you can, this uh, SED has a lot of options. So I'm not going to go into all those things. So this is just to give you a 
an idea okay uh, so the dollar bottom will be replaced with the bottom variable so it should be 2 and 4 right so and that is piped to the db2 uh, using the plus p hyphen v is for the verbose output hyphen z out dot log will be a report file will be created then i am changing the variables to 1 to 3 so this is the first method this this line is the first method okay and this line is the second method so it's actually not a single line but oops i don't know why this happens okay so you are saying cat less than less than sql pipe it to the same command what you see here so what so this is like an input redirection to the cat uh, command so the input comes from the sql right the sql is a keyword here and whatever is the following line with um, until it hits the sql keyword right so that will be considered as the input to this cat command so that goes to the cat command and the output of the cat command is piped to the uh, db2 command line processor and i am doing the connect reset so this is how the basic idea this is how it uh, uh, works so this is the first one will be the uh, the first one will be uh, will be the cd command using a cd command to replace the shell environment variable the second one will be the here document so this is the here document approach okay so now let's just go ahead and execute it so i'll i'll just remove any out dot log that is already available okay and i'll have to execute the shell script which is dot forward slash shell to sql dot sh so you can see that it has given the range between 22 uh, 234 and 123 so the two uh, so it is displaying in the standard output as well so you can see that the connection is done and select star from t1 id between 2 and 4 is getting executed and select star from t1 where id between 1 and 3 is getting executed and we can also look at the um, out dot log the uh, report that is generated okay which contains the same thing so you can see the contents of the out dot log this is the contents of the out dot log so it 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 tells you the query and it also gives you the query and the output of that and you can see the variables dollar top and dollar bottom getting replaced with the environment variables it's a very very simple concept very simple easy thing to do so you can even put some time stamps here and there like you if you want to you know uh, understand the query like when it started execution when it end execution you want to pass the environment variables like a date command output of the date command can be can be sent into this log files like that um that's it in this video tutorial hope this information was useful to you see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye